others to see God's master plan. And it helps us also to grow those that are us that are participating in the first personal work. Thank you. like to just think and take a moment to talk about why I think personal work is so important. We each have a story. We each know how Christ has touched our lives and it's up to us and God expects us to go out and to tell our story and impact other people's lives just like he's impacted our lives. No one has the same story and no one will know how God has worked with you until you get out and share your story. And so I'd like to encourage each and every one of us to get out and share our story of how God has impacted us and share his love so that others can come to know him. Personal work is very important um, because without you doing personal work for yourself, there's no way that you can help a greater cause with a whole lot of more people. So you always have to start with yourself first. So that way you can start with yourself and then build around others. According to the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we have been given a commission to go ye therefore into all the world and to preach the gospel to those that are lost. And therefore, our personal work and, and evangelism is part of what we are been given by Christ uh, in order for us to be able to make the gospel known to those that are lost. According to 1 Corinthians, first chapter, verse 17, it says, For the Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, but lest the cross, the cross of Christ be, should be made of none effect. So therefore we are here to not be uh, speaking words of our own, but we are here to represent Christ and to evangelize for the purpose of bringing souls to him according to the gospel of peace. This is what Jesus has told us to do, and that is our commission. Thank you. opportunity to share just a word about personal evangelism. I am excited about the opportunity to try to get a message out to say there are people who are needing to know the Word of God and I just love sharing it with people personally. That's what personal work is all about and I know that we live in a diverse community and there are different people who don't look like me or talk like me but all of us need the Lord. So personal work is the way to get out there and get with it. So let's do it. Personal work today. Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every man. And that's why we have to go and we have to preach and we have to teach the gospel of Christ. Good. I am very excited about this, talking about personal work, because it is very, very important. Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Paul wrote to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 9, 16, and said, But woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Christ said go, Paul said woe, which means distress, trouble. Personal work is important because the Lord did not say invite people to come, but he told us to go to them. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. This is why personal work is so important. I have had the privilege of being a minister of the gospel for some 55 years. I would tell you that I have won through the help of God as many to the Lord through one-on-one -on -one as I have from preaching from the pulpit. Personal work is very, very important.
Mark 16 and 16. The Lord said, Go ye therefore and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. It is very, very important for the church to be involved in personal work and we will serve it out if we do not. We're going to lose out. We're not going to win the souls to Christ that God would have us win for him. We can do more through one-on-one -on -one than we can from preaching from the pulpit. Woe is unto us if we do not preach and teach the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus said, go, and Paul said, woe. We that are members of the Church of Christ believe in personal work because we recognize that personal work is important to God and if it's important to God, it ought to be important to us. He told us a long time ago, Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore, baptize him. You know, the truth of it is, is that if we don't feel compelled to do this, men will be lost. And we who are Christians, we want men to be saved. It's not that we want anybody to perish, but you got to take it personal and you got to take the responsibility to save those that are lost. The whole purpose of mankind the is to save the church those of Christ is that are lost. absolutely the foundation, the cornerstone of everything that we do. We connect person to person. So anything you need, we are here to serve. We are built on a family foundation, and we do different types of organizations, different things to keep you involved with us because we love you, and we want Personal you to go to heaven with so us. It's so important in the church because it's all about saving souls and bringing souls to Christ. You know, we, we talk about hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized, but in order to personal work, you got to go out there and teach so they can hear. You remember the story of the Ethiopian eunuch and Philip went to him and said, Do you understand it what I read it? And he said, Let someone show me or teach me. So that's why it's important. We got to go out and teach others that the way of the cross leads home. Personal work is very important to save souls and get people uh, in the Lord's house. And the only way to do that, you got to do personal work. You got to teach. And once you teach, you got to continue to encourage them and train them. And so they know the truth of the gospel of Jesus Personal work Christ. is important in the Church of Christ because if you don't do any personal work, then you won't be able to save souls. And that's what life is about is going out and finding those that are lost or don't know Jesus and bringing them to Christ and introducing them to the church. So that's why the personal growth is, or the personal work, is just diligently doing that. On a daily basis, we're walking down the street as we're in the stores as we're with our co-workers. There's tons of people that we could bring to Christ. So that's uh, personal work is uh, important in the church to encourage other people around you, on your jobs, your family, about coming to church and you know helping them. And it's all about doing God's work to to spread the seed, sow the seed, so that others can come to church and help grow the church. And be an example. It's part of taking personal to be an example on how to live for, how to live right for God and do the things that you know that oh, are right. Oh, note about personal work. We know the harvest, and when we speak of harvest, you no, know, you got different time of the seasons. You got the spring, the summer, the winter, and the fall. And doing all them harvest times of the year, it's still a good time to go out there and do personal work and bring souls to Christ. Some people say that well, I wait till the summer. Oh, I wait till the fall, I wait till the spring, I wait till the summer. But the scripture says the harvest time is now. And the time is now for us to go out there and harvest people out there and bring them in to Christ. No matter what season it is, all season is a good time to harvest and teach the word of God.
one of the greatest things that we know about the apostles, they went on spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. They suffered for it. They bled. And the truth of it is, is that if it was good for them to do it, if they were commanded to do it, we should be doing the same thing today. People are dying every day because we fail to take advantage of the opportunity to tell them about Jesus. Listen, my friends, brothers and sisters, if we don't do it, who will? And it's so important for us to understand that the whole purpose of mankind is to uh, live the life as a Christian and save those that are lost. And we must understand that uh, if we're going to really do what thus says the Lord, every day we ought to take the opportunity to try to teach somebody about Jesus. We need to go into the highways and the byways. We need to go some places that we've never gone before. We need to tell the people at the grocery store. We need to tell people, our neighbor, about Jesus. We need to tell our enemies about Jesus. Man will never, ever be saved if we don't live the life and tell somebody about Jesus. And when the last trumpet has sound, you can lay your head down at night. And you'll be able to say, I have fought a good fight. I went out in the highways. I told people about Jesus. Take full advantage of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen.